According to Wikipedia, Abel Tesfaye, better known as The Weeknd, still lives in Hidden Hills, California. We all know that his hometown is none other than Toronto, and he's been one of the biggest Canadian artists in recent years. The Weeknd is 29 at the time of this recording and is a hip hop artist, singer, songwriter, record producer, and more. He also has over 20 million followers on Instagram and currently doesn't even have any posts up. Among the man's accomplishments, like three Grammys and eight Billboard Awards, he also has earned a lot of success in the money department, but that usually comes with being famous. Forbes actually estimated The Weeknd's net worth at $92 million and named him one of the world's highest paid entertainers. With that kind of net worth, you already know The Weeknd is living in luxury wherever he goes. Aside from all this, he's also known for having some famous relationships with the likes of Selena Gomez in the past and of course, model Bella Hadid. And who makes you laugh the hardest? Uh, my boyfriend. Who's the most beautiful person you know? My boyfriend. Unfortunately, The Weeknd and Bella broke up again a few months back. The pair was on and off and sometimes it was hard to keep up with, but I really thought they were together for good this time. The couple was even living together in an epic penthouse in New York City, so I guess with the breakup, it's time for The Weeknd to move into a new bachelor pad too. Apparently, he already landed a gorgeous new spot in the hills, but we'll give you all the details on it in just a little bit. Every home The Weeknd has under his belt has been super impressive, like his $20 million mansion, his 60 k a month NYC condo, and of course his new place. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna look at where The Weeknd calls home, including his previous spot with Bella, his mega mansion, and the Beverly Hills bachelor pad he just purchased. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Selena Gomez, Anna Will Smith, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. And be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm gonna be responding to some at the end of this video. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. First, let's take a look at where The Weeknd was just living with his ex, Bella. So obviously, Bella was living in New York City for a while, even before the two were dating. Last year, I guess their relationship was going well and The Weeknd asked Bella to move in with him. The building the couple lived in was in the Tribeca neighborhood of NYC and obviously anything in Manhattan is super expensive. Maybe that's why the couple was paying 60k per month in rent. <laughs> The building was also full of famous neighbors, including the likes of Harry Styles, Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds, Jennifer Lawrence, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. Apparently this building was paparazzi proof, so maybe that's why it was a celeb magnet. The weekend's NYC penthouse he shared with Bella was 5,000 square feet and had four beds, 4.5 baths, and spanned over three levels. There was also a large private terrace that covered 1,000 square feet. I'm sure he was able to throw some good parties there. Not surprisingly, this place had its own elevator that brought you up to the foyer. There were double height ceilings inside, a bunch of spacious rooms, and more. Even the couple's master suite had more than one walk-in closet. So rumor is, now that the pair called it quits again, that Bella is staying in New York and looking for places there. But The weekend seems to have other plans of going back to LA. Before we get into The weekend's new bachelor pad, we know that he has another massive LA property under his belt too. Back in 2017, The weekend purchased a mega mansion in the Hidden Hills neighborhood of LA. It's one of the most celeb-filled areas, known for housing the Kardashian and Jenners and plenty of other big names. All of the real estate here is definitely in the multi-million dollar price range and The weekend's home was no different. He apparently paid close to 20 million for a 12,000 square foot mansion here. This place was built in 2016 and has nine beds and 11 baths. The property spans almost three acres and offers redwood trees, gorgeous landscaping, and even pastures. The private road up to the mansion is lined with olive trees and a bridge. The weekend's mansion has an entryway that's 25 feet tall and has custom glass and steel doors. When you go inside the home, there's a brand new and spacious kitchen, a formal dining room complete with a fireplace and wine cellar, and of course, a few living rooms. Other features of the weekend's mega mansion include a music lounge, gym, and a home movie theater. His master bedroom also came with two walk-in closets and of course, an ensuite bathroom. 
one of the living areas is an outdoor living room which is attached to an indoor outdoor bar. Moving outside of the weekend's home, there's of course a saltwater pool and a spa that can fit up to 10 people. Not to mention there's an outdoor kitchen and barbecue area, patio with fire pits and covered patios, and even an 8 stall barn in case he wants to get some horses. Also outside is the guest house which is 1200 square feet and has 2 beds and 2 baths. I would be happy just to live in that space. Now there are no listings of the weekend putting up this mansion for sale as far as I could find. So if that's the case then he still owns this massive property and just added another spot in the hills to his real estate portfolio. If you guys know if you sold this mansion, let me know in the comments. So recently it's been reported that The Weeknd bought a $25 million penthouse in Beverly Hills. That price tag makes me wonder if he kept his $20 million mansion too, but clearly the man can afford it. Obviously, post breakup from Bella, The Weeknd needed a new bachelor pad and moving back to the hills must have been just what he wanted. The price for this spot seems a bit much to me considering it's a high rise and not even a full property. Like I said, apparently The Weeknd dished out 25 mil for this condo in the exclusive building Beverly West, which has a total of only 35 units. The new space is 8,215 square feet and has 4 beds and 4 baths along with 2 half baths. His unit is at the top of this high rise so it offers amazing views of the hills in Los Angeles and of course plenty of massive glass windows. There are 4 balconies throughout the condo as well. The weekend's new bachelor pad has plenty of open concept space, luxury designer furnishings and a massive great room. Other features include a wet bar, a wine vault and a personal gym in the unit. All of the bedrooms have large walk-in closets which were also custom designed. Despite all of the breathtaking views, I still don't get why a condo would cost so much. A mansion in the same area that's more than double the size and with land would probably be less money. I mean look at The Weeknd's other Hidden Hills mansion. What do you guys think about The Weeknd's new condo? Overpriced or worth every penny? Either way, it seems like he's going all out for his first solo place post breakup from Bella. Now we've seen all of The Weeknd's real estate that we know about. We looked at the NYC 3 level penthouse he just lived in with ex Bella Hadid, his mansion in Hidden Hills and his new $25 million Beverly Hills bachelor pad. What did you like best about his homes? Let me know in the comments. There was no evidence of The Weeknd putting his Hidden Hills mega mansion up for sale, so I'm guessing he still owns that property and just added this new condo to his collection. But if his net worth is as high as they say it is, then two homes over 20 million shouldn't be an issue for the star. Considering The Weeknd's new $25 million bachelor pad is located back in Beverly Hills, he probably won't be running into his ex Bella much. Rumors are that she's staying in New York. I think despite the breakup, this new place would be enough to make the man excited again, that's for sure. I guess we'll just have to see once he moves in. Ok guys, so now I'll be reading out some comments from previous videos. On our Will Smith house tour, Shelly B said, It looks like I want to take a nap, it's so beautiful, they have great taste, I know that. Your videos are bomb. Thank you Shelly, I'm glad to hear you like our videos and the Smith family home. Also on our Will Smith house tour, LY said, Thank you for covering the Smiths, I absolutely love them. No problem, and if you guys want to see more Will or Jada content, let me know what you'd like to see or any other big Hollywood star homes I should do. And on our Will Smith before and after, Skittle Boys commented saying, Skittle Boys in the comments, much love from Skittles Nation, good vibes only, fame gang. Shout out to Kara, always fashionable, and Will Smith. Thanks Skittle Boys for always watching our videos, always love hearing your comments. Alright guys, that's all I could find on The Weeknd's home. Which one was your fave out of his houses? Personally, I like his Hidden Hills mansion because it has a gorgeous property around it. It's a bit big for me, but I can't say I'm big on the idea of a $25 million condo either. Be sure to let me know down below and let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you next time with some new videos. Bye!